Hey, Ann and Keith, good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Here at News 8, we've got your back. And tonight, the state is telling utility regulators that the cost of putting the lights back on should not be on your back. It is estimated that the cost for CL&P to repair the damage from the autumn nor'easter was close to $300 million. Over 800,000 were without power, some for more than a week. It followed by just two months, a similar prolonged outage following Tropical Storm Irene. So who's going to pay for that? Ratepayers in no way should be expected to pay for CLMP's imprudent behavior. The Attorney General today said that because CLNP had no plans ready for a massive power outage and because they delayed calling in outside help, utility regulators should never allow them to pass that cost on to customers. CLNP's preparation for major storms was unreasonably inadequate. Its emergency response plan was beyond inadequate. George's data is the same data we saw at the uh, two-storm panel. They just weren't ready for a storm of this scale. Now, that's, that's the bottom line. In his argument, Jepson notes that the company only had a plan to restore power for an outage of about 100,000, even though they had had 250,000 lose power just the year before. It sounds like if they weren't prepared, then I guess you know, it shouldn't come out of the customer's hands. You know? I understand that um, the trees and Mother Nature and all of that, however, we already pay enough for right. utilities. And the fact that they didn't really prepare really makes a difference. Yes, it does. Yes, it should come out of the um, it should come out of the profits of the company. Absolutely. The company made it clear today they will fight this, saying, "quote Every independent consultant who has reviewed our preparation and response to both storms has concluded that CLNP accomplished restoration safely and in line with industry standards." Now, in his brief to utility regulators today, the Attorney General notes that CLNP rates here in Connecticut are currently frozen until January 2015. He says that CLNP is banking on people having short memories, and he wants to make sure this is not forgotten. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.